Hey there guys, welcome back to Stardew Valley. Uh, a bit of bad news to start off. I, I did something stupid. I, I completely forgot that I had changed the hotkey that I used to start and stop my recordings. So I just did an entire episode. Um, and it was quite a nice one too, I actually quite enjoyed making it, but it wasn't recording, so uh, we've missed two days worth of recordings, in the sense that um, two in-game days have passed. So I'll let you guys know basically everything that happened. Uh, first day, I went into town, I gave out some gifts, it was Pierre's birthday, I gave him, uh, I couldn't give him a squid because, well, he normally likes fried calamari, that's his favourite gift, but unfortunately we used it all up when we were making him sashimi, which uh, was kind of horrible. But I did, have a, I did have a rabbit's foot to give him, so that kind of made up for it. Then we had an event with him where we went into his house, we found some kind of secret stash behind his bookcase that I can only assume was like, porn magazines or something. It's implied. Um, and I made a comment about how Pierre has been kind of douchey sometimes, so I told him that I'd tell his wife, and I, I lost two friendship points from that, so kind of lost everything that I gained, which sucked. And then it was, uh, then the, the day after that, it was Emily's birthday, so we gave her an amethyst, and we've uh, jumped up pretty high with her, we're up to six hearts with her now. And also we managed to catch three eels when we went to, went to the, um, to the sea at night, so that was uh, a big success. And on top of that, we went into the mines a couple of times, got quite a lot of iron ore, got some copper ore too, just enough to finish off a quest for Clint, he wanted us to get 40 bits of copper ore, and we've done that. And on top of that, we slayed 12, no, something like 15 skeletons in total, which took us over the mark we needed to finish another one of the monster slayer goals. Allowing us to get the skeleton mask. So yeah, that's uh, it's a shame that it wasn't recorded. It was quite a fun episode, but um, you know you got to move on. Got to got to just accept it and move on. Did manage to give out quite a few gifts as well, so that was all good. Also made some fried mushrooms, which was a recipe we got from Demetrius. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but most of this stuff is not so great. Um. Yeah, okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do now, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna wear this for like the rest of the playthrough or something, I'm just gonna wear it for now just to celebrate my victory over the, uh, over the skeleton people. And, we'll set up some more iron bars. Put away what we don't need. Hmm, can actually make one more. And most of this stuff is kind of useless, but it's it's not too bad. Yeah, we got some solar essence from uh, from killing ghosts and stuff, and I uh, got a couple of magma geodes from uh, fishing in in treasure chests. I haven't actually checked the TV today, or maybe I have, but I don't remember. I don't think I have. I was a bit distracted by bad news. Queen of Source. Greetings it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook, this week's dish, Lucky Lunch. An old legend has it that this meal is irresistible to spirits of luck and fortune. After consuming it, you're likely to attract a good spirit into your belly, where it will bless you with good fortune until the meal is digested. Sounds weird, huh? I can't say I believe it, but the meal is delicious nonetheless. Alright, something else that happened that was really cool, and uh, it kind of sucks that it's been not recorded, was there was some kind of like massive beef going on between the dwarf and Krobus. Um, there's been some kind of like dwarf history or something, a uh, dwarf war, where the dwarf drove the sh dwarves dr drove the shadow people out of the, out of their ancestral homelands and the, the shadow people killed the dwarf's family so the dwarf hates Krobus and Krobus apologized to the dwarf but the dwarf wasn't having it and the wizard teleported in and he, he sorted it all out and it was, um, it was quite eventful and quite fun. Uh, I was on Krobus' side. I, I decided I was going to pick a side. And I picked Krobus' side because Krobus is... Krobus is my guy. I I just like Krobus. So... I also think that he was more polite of the two. So, um... Yeah. Hopefully they'll uh, put their differences aside at some point. But... You never know. It's kind of hard to say. Alright, uh, so where's the lucky lunch? What do we need for that? Sea cucumber, tortilla, and blue jazz. That's a random combination. If I knew we were going to need blue jazzes, I would have bought a few more this season, but um, it's too late for that now, and potentially we can just make more when we get the greenhouse unlocked, which should happen in the fall, so 
That's not too far away. That's uh, actually only one more season now. Although I do need to grow some pumpkins in the fall. Um, Alright, so... Do have enough resources to put down two more kegs, I think. I uh, might not have enough wood just yet. Main thing I need to do today is prepare for the upcoming summer. And for that we're going to need fruit trees. And, well that's actually it for now. Um, obviously we need seeds and stuff, but we can't actually get those until tomorrow. So, probably not going to bother with that. Also had a pretty productive day on the farm, just uh, with the animals and stuff actually. Um, it was two rainy days in a row, so there was no truffles or anything like that, but um, all the other animals were producing quite a lot of stuff, which was nice. So we've got all this stuff here right now, uh, there's animals coming out of there. Oh yeah, we're running out of, uh, we're running out of feed, which kind of sucks. I guess I could go get some more. I do have some uh, that Marnie keeps sending us, but I don't actually know if I can like deposit into the deposit it into the silo myself. Anyway, I'm going to do some uh, quick farming chores and I'll join you guys once that's done. Okay, so another thing that happened in the last episode was uh, we managed to get our hands on, well we didn't manage to get our hands on anything, but we already had our hands on a skeletal hand, skeletal hand I think it was, and uh, we dropped that in which gave us one piece of a kind of three piece puzzle, I think that might actually be new, no limestone, I think we've had that before, limestone and one piece of iron ore, okay that's a disappointing haul I think. Unless it does turn out that we've not had limestone before. It does look kind of different to anything I've seen. No, we've had it, had it several times. Okay, interesting. Right, it is just from a normal geode, so I can't really expect anything from that to be particularly surprising at this point. So we'll just sell that off, I think. There's not really anything else we can do with it. And with what little time and money we have left, uh, we need to be getting to Pierre's. I'm hoping... I think we should... I think it closes at 5, so we should be able to get there in time. But it's a bit difficult. So yeah, what we need to do now is buy a couple of fruit trees, and then once we- Oh crap, I forgot to speak to Clint about this quest. Oh well, we can do it in a bit. Uh, yes, he's just saying the same thing he usually does. I'll pay 200 gold to any fisherman who catches 5 sardine. I think that's from the sea, and I'm not really bothered about doing that. Uh, there's Jody. Hello Jody. Okay, uh, right, so we would like to buy pomegranates and apple saplings, so we get one 
two of those. Two of those. And we can afford one more. Should we go for pomegranates or apples? I think we're going to go for pomegranate. And that's all our money gone, so we're relying on... Actually, we could sell these. Yeah, let's sell the cherry jelly. Duck mayo. Strawberry wine. And the... That gives us just enough, actually, for... Another apple sapling. And that should be enough of everything, I think. We can keep the rest behind so that we can sell it. So yeah, that would be uh, six trees going up, which should be enough to carry us through the autumn pretty safely, I think. Say hi to these guys. Taking the day off, I didn't know she had a job. Alright, we'll give these guys uh, apricots, the usual. Everyone enjoys apricots. As it looks like Harvey's is close, I assume he'll be over here. Yes, he is. He usually is. Uh, this is Harvey is the reason that I'm even making pickled green beans, so he should uh, he should appreciate this one, I think. There you go. That's cool. And for Vincent, another apricot. And that's uh, that's a good good gift giving session. Um, not as good as the one yesterday, but uh. Ah, uh, the recording is gone, it's all gone, so... <laughs> it's a shame. Um, I really did like that episode, I don't wanna... I don't wanna keep lamenting over it, though. Uh, I'm gonna just be doing a one-day episode this time, so this is gonna be a super short episode. Um, I pretty much already at least crossed the halfway mark, since it is just gonna be this one day. And the reason for that is it's like half three in the morning, I wasn't gonna go to bed, like, knowing that I'd wasted my time recording a session without actually producing anything whatsoever, so I wanted to do just at least one episode. I really wanted to keep playing Stardew Valley as well, because I was having a good time. Is Haley? Would Haley like an apricot? I think she probably would. Already given her a gift today. No, I haven't. I think that was just, yeah, it was just a glitch, so that's fine. Speak to her the normal way too. I'm thinking about don donating a bunch of clothes. I must have a hundred pairs of shoes. Alright, so we're starting to see another side of Haley now. We're starting to see her more friendly, um, less shallow side, which is good. But... It's not enough to tempt me. Not enough to tempt me to actually take things any further with her. Alright, so it's going to be time now to plant these trees. And also while we're at it, we need to chop down some trees so that we can get some wood, which should enable us to make... Actually, let's just grab these. We're going to need to sell everything we possibly can in order to actually be able to afford to buy seeds tomorrow. Like, there's no holding back. We are going to be poor as hell. <laughs> and we really shouldn't be. We want to be, uh, we want to be able to afford a lot tomorrow. Alright, so we'll sell off the mayo. I think we should actually probably sell off a bunch of the cherries too, to be honest. Bit of a shame, but has to be done. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is... I guess I'll go... I'll go plant the trees. I'm not entirely sure I want these trees to be planted. I have a, view, a few vague ideas. One of which is related to... Hang on just a moment. There's uh, some more stuff here. Cherry jelly. Okay. One of which is... Wow, these are done. Okay. Uh, some of the other trees aren't fully grown, but these two definitely are. That's ready for next season. Uh, so yeah, the purpose of this particular section down here with these two, with these two random trees, is I wanted to make like a special, <coughs> a special little beehive area. Um, with flowers and trees and stuff like that, it would be mainly an aesthetic thing, but I need to uh, add two more trees, because I want to have one of each type of tree here. So... Go with, what's this, pomegranate. Don't know what that looks like. Put the pomegranate here. One, two, and I think we go up one more. I think we have to go up one more. Yeah. Or is it? Mm. No, I think that's fine. All right, so put one there, and another one of the opposite kind over on the opposite side. Actually, we might as well keep the ones that are similar together. So put it on this side. Alright, and the other ones, I'm not entirely sure what to do with these. I think planting them around the lake might be an idea. Because we already have some, and we might as well just carry on that process. So we'll put the first one down... Um, here, I guess? Nope, too close to another tree, apparently, okay. Yeah, unlike the other trees, I haven't actually planned out where to place these ones. I do want to put them all in nice places so that the farm actually looks quite nice and so that it all has a kind of, like, natural order to it. Like, I want, I want the farm to be orderly, but I've seen some people who have orderly farms that are literally just rows of kegs and stone floors and 
like just lifeless. So I want to I want to still be able to make money, but without kind of compromising on uh, the farm actually looking like a nice place to be in a kind of role playing sense. So uh, first trees, I think what we'll do is put one on each side here. So it's going to be difficult. Might need to chop down this one. Yeah, I think we're going to need to chop this one down, unfortunately. It's time. As uh, I've accidentally picked up a bit of flooring there, but I think that's okay. Alright, so this one... Uh, one, two, three... There. And then... I guess we'll just do two more, uh, kind of near that as well. So I don't have to think about it too much. One there. And one there, and I believe that's all we need. I think. I might have put them in slightly, slightly bad places. I mean, this one is going to be coming up right against the eventual path when it's done. But it's okay, I don't think that's, that's not too bad. Yeah, that should be okay. We just have to accept that for now. And uh, with the rest of the day, need to get our hands on a little bit more wood so that we can put down a few more kegs. Two more kegs, but uh, two is a few. Well, three is a few, I'd usually say, but it doesn't really matter right now. Um, okay, so, in order to make two more kegs, we can make one now, actually, immediately, but we need 30 more wood for that. We um, can also make preserve jars. Uh, yeah, I know there's quite a few things we need. Wicked statue. <laughs> I have uh, I have no reason to get that right now. As I just realised, tulip tulip bulb and jazz seeds. I think I can make more of those in the uh, in the seed maker. So if we do want to make more tub of flowers, we can. Uh, meanwhile, I think what I'll do is I'll put the tapper on this tree here. And I think if I, I am not sure in, entirely if this is how it works, but I think if I knock down the tree itself, whoops, if I knock down the tree itself and leave the tapper on it, that should stop it spreading seeds, I think, which will be important because we want these trees to finish growing. Okay, so we'll leave it like that for now. And uh, we still have a good couple of hours left just to chop down a few trees, which should be really quick now because we do have the gold star, uh, not the gold star, but the gold, the gold upgrade of the axe. So they go down in literally four, four strikes now, which is uh, very impressive indeed. And the stumps afterwards go down in two, so by the time the tree's finished falling, the stump's already gone, which is uh, it's kind of a satisfying sense of progress when it comes to the wood chopping. Obviously we are level 10 foraging now, so it's not that special. <laughs> I haven't actually uh, received a single bit of hardwood yet from what I've been doing. But we'll keep trying. Right, so it's getting late. Um, get one more keg, and could also get some more bee houses, which might be an idea. Oh, we have actually got three hardwood. Okay, maybe I just didn't notice them coming in, but that's fine either way. And got one of every. Yeah, I can make two fields next. Why not? Just, uh, I think we should make a few more artisan, machi uh, artisan machines, just because they're going to be really useful. So it could make preserves jars, could make bee houses, I think. They both kind of cost similar amounts. I'll make one bee house for now. Just because those are always useful, whereas preserves jars are... Obviously, preserves jars are always really useful too, but they are kind of inferior to kegs in most ways. Alright, so we'll drop another bee house somewhere, probably... Let me just take a look around here. Um, could put one here, I guess, just at the top, and possibly make a few more of those too. So I think I did have some maple syrup stored away somewhere. Yes, five bits are here, so we'll use those first. Though let's drop off the keg. Both kegs, I should say. There are two of them. Alright, so one there, and one there. And what we'll then do is drop off... Okay, it looks like... Oh, I do have the cherries. Okay, so drop off some cherries in those. Just for a little bit more income. And then maple syrup should enable us to get one more bee house at least. Perfect. 
And we do have more than that, so we can get more bee houses. I just don't know how necessary it is. Uh, maybe preserve jars would be more useful at this point. Just for a little while. Preserve jars. We need more wood. Okay, so we've actually run out of wood. Interesting. Alright, we'll sell off the field snack, because we don't need that. Uh, actually going to sell off the sap too, because we're quite poor. If we're going to be extremely poor after tomorrow. Sell off the cherry jelly and the pine cones. Uh, might as well sell off the acorn. We have more of those stored away if we ever do need to plant something. And uh, that's, that looks like the main stuff that I can actually sell. I guess I could sell some refined quartz if I have to. I'm keeping the diamond as a gift for uh, anyone who wants it next uh, next season. Seven hops there, which I could have turned into pale ale in hindsight, but I haven't really, I haven't really like, had a proper look at this chest in a, a long time, actually. So I think that's pretty much all the main things. I can't see anything particularly worth selling there. Emerald, I suppose. And Frozen Tear. We'll sell those just for a little bit more. Check this. Anything worth selling in here? Pickle Green Bean will barely go for anything, so I'm not going to bother with that. Pink Cake. Mm, tempting, but probably not. Frozen Tears we can get rid of. Definitely can get rid of those. Uh, Gold Star Quartz, we won't need that at all. And that's mainly it, I think. Could sell the lobster. Yeah, I'll sell the lobster and I'll keep the albacore just in case we need one. So I'll sell that. Uh, sell the frozen tears. And that's the main stuff. We've got uh, one more hour left to kill. Shouldn't be too difficult. So we'll drop off a th another bee house here, I guess. If I drop a bee house here, then this uh, this cherry tree is no longer going to be improving year on year, but I think it's probably worth it, so we'll drop that off. Last thing we'll do is lay down these five bits of flooring. And that's going to be it. So uh, I know it's been a super uneventful episode, but um, can't really do anything about that. Uh, I kind of wore myself out with the stuff that was going on yesterday. We are nicely prepared now for the summer. Which uh, is going to be a really exciting time. It's going to be time for, I'm hoping, a time to start really cranking the money back in with the blueberry seeds. And not just the blueberry seeds, but also with star fruit, uh, with hops, which we can then put into the kegs in order to make rapid churning out uh, pale ale. Same thing with wheat. Uh, also with corn, so that we can make more oil. And it's also just generally quite useful. Uh, we need five gold star corns for the quality crops bundle, as we're getting 13k coming in there, which I think should... Should enable us to buy pretty much everything we need, I think, at least at first, because uh, we don't actually have the full number of Iridium Sprinklers yet that I would ideally like. Alright, so let's see. Let's just see out of curiosity where this money is all coming from. Cauliflower was a lot of it, uh, strawberry wine was even more, which makes me think I probably should have actually saved the cauliflower and used it for juice, but never mind. Uh, another 1,300 coming in from the cherries, 1,100 from the mayo, and... Nothing else that significant. I think that was really just a case of everything adding up. Kind of just, yeah, in the right place at the right time or something. Uh, carps and lobsters, mining, frozen tears, an okay amount from that. And the field snacks. I thought I sold some sap. I'm not sure where that went. Oh, here. That's actually worth quite a lot. I'm surprised by how much that's worth. But yeah, 13k coming in there. That's, uh, that's a really nice amount. It should put us in a good position to start off with the summer. So yeah. When we go on to the next year. Yeah, so, uh, sorry guys about the gap in the narrative there, but, um, you do know roughly the main things that happened and why we're currently looking like a skeleton and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and, uh, I'll see you next time when we will be kicking off the summer, probably with a lot of planting of crops and, uh, it's going to be an exciting time. We're going to be making a lot of money from all that. So yeah, see you then guys.